Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today, we'll be taking a look at the Goliath Beetle from the Capsule Toy series, um, Ikimono Daizukan, or the, uh, I guess, Living uh, Organism Encyclopedia, Kabuto Mushi, or the Beetles, Part 3 or 03. So, uh, as you guys, or for fans who already watched the series or know about this, as you can already see, it's slightly different. Um, starting from this set, I think, they're, they kind of changed how they've um, incorporated it. So usually before, uh, they were put in one of these um, display stand capsule types, but because of costs and stuff, they decided to slowly, um, I guess, cut these out. So now in a set, some of them will come with the display stand. And uh, usually from what I've seen, I guess I'll show you in here, um, some of them come with a display stand and wings, and some do not uh, as their way to, I guess, kind of... Um, I guess uh, allocate their uh, funds a bit better. So now it's just in a case for this one. Specifically, the Goliath one is in this one. Uh, from what I've seen in the uh, machine, three of them come in these clear ones, and three of them come with a display, which I think I can explain a bit better here. But so yes, so this case is just a capsule. You do not need it, so you can throw this away, unlike before. So here are the pieces. You got. Ooh, wow, it is this body is really heavy like just the weight of it is quite heavy and then you got the legs here the head uh, what is this the wings this time the wings are quite different like that so and we have the little booklet this time so here you go so this time I'm not sure if it mentions how they've done it this time but um but yeah, so here is just the basic uh, building guide. As you can see, the glide this time, the wings are slightly different, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a different, uh, what, an airplane style. But yeah, and then here's how they use the display if it comes with it. So the most important part is here. So this time, Kabuto, uh, Kabuto 03, um, the lineup, there is a lineup of six. Starting from number one, we have the Goliath Beetle, which I ha uh, have here, and it says it comes with wings. The second one is the Neptune Okabuto, or the Neptune Beetle. It also comes with wings, and it's in, it has the capsule display base. However, as you can see here, for the next one, three, the Grant Shiro Kabuto, I think the Grant Beetle, the white one, it comes with no wings nor display stand. So this one comes in um, one of these uh, clear capsule types. And, however, the different colored one, the black one, however, comes with wings and a display. So, uh, however, this one is white, so I guess that's how they kind of differentiated it. Uh, not even rare, it's just, uh, I don't think any of these are rare, so all of them have the same, uh, when you buy like a bag of, I think, like 30 or 40, it might be uh, evenly distributed, probably 30, I think, five each. Next is the Hime Kabuto, the red type, which has nothing except the beetle itself, while the Kabu uh, Hime Kabuto black type comes with the display and wings. So, yeah, um, usually before, the, uh, all of these would have come with wings and a display, but this time I guess they're cutting costs this way because of, I guess, um, honestly, I'm not sure, you know, uh, around the world, lots of um, imports and materials due to, you know, certain situations around the world have increased costs. So, uh, I think this is just either one way they're trying to cut cost, or, you know, Bandai is a bit notorious for, you know, penny pinching. So this could have been just their way of saying, hey, look, it's super popular. We can slowly, you know, eat a bit more profits there. However, um, for most people, they might not even display it with a display stand. So for those who kind of like their beetles just as is, um, honestly, not much difference for you guys. Um, whoever do, uh, whoever likes having them display, however, it is quite a bit of a turn up. However, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. However, all of them, even with no display stand, do look really nice and should have um, certain parts of them that allow for extra display stands you might have had. So starting off, we have these. Uh, let me just cut these out. So I'm just going to leave the wings here for now and check them out later. So let's just get these out of the clear plastic baggies first. So first we have the main body, which is... Look at that. Ooh, that's some detailing there it looks like wood chips or that's nice kind of gross <laughs> so we have those we have the legs here and then we have the head 
which is quite big. I can see why it's called the Goliath. At least, yeah. So I'm quite glad they, so they did it this way. So, hmm. So we got some legs here, here. So this is clearly the port for if you want it in flying mode. So let's just leave it that. And we got some legs this time. They, ooh, this time we got articulated legs. So maybe, um, this is what they're going for. Uh, articulated legs. This time for all of them. Nice. So they went back to articulated legs, which is nice. Kind of, um, you know, so maybe that's what uh, some of the costs are for. I'm not sure. So these look about the same. Let's see. Do these have any indication as they're left or right? Nope. So time to use the little booklet for the Goliath beetle here. Hmm. So let's see. Let's bust it. Let me just focus this. So it says... Mm, Oh, so it says ball to joint. So on the ball joint, it actually says left or right. So they said ball joint near the ball joint or. Let's so go focus near the ball joint. They said L R, but I don't. Oh. Hmm. I don't quite see it. LRs are not quite visible to me, so. However, you know, you should be able to guess just by things. So clearly the thicker one is the bottom. And then the slightly curvy one, the longest one is the top. So we can just use that to go by. So clearly these are the muscle legs here. And then these are the longer ones at the top and the slightly shorter ones are here. And because of how the ball joint works, there's no way to mess it up. So let's put these in. Or maybe this just meant uh, the ball joint uh, indicates whether it's left or right. So that seems to be more likely because I definitely didn't see um, any indications or markings of a left L or R. So they probably just meant, um, right? No, it definitely says there is a marking, but I don't quite see it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So it's really hard to see. So as you can see on the ball itself, so 2L. So left 2 middle. So it's definitely there. There we go, quite stiff. And this one is there. But you know, just using natural, you know, intuition, you can do this. But definitely the body is really big. So definitely I can see why. So hopefully maybe from now on, maybe um, some of the beetles, they allocate um, some of the weight and mass and stuff like this, then I'm definitely uh, willing to, or rather the trade off is definitely worth it. So the antennas as usual just twist them off let's just put the one here and twist this off and we just put these in hmm, hmm, hmm. so this time there is a ball joint there so you just plop these in uh which one does it say Uh, no, it just says both are fine. So let's just have this one go in here, push that in. So this time, definitely, um, unlike pre previous releases, uh, all the ball joints, uh, you know, pop in quite e quite nicely. So very nice. Um, next, I'm probably just going to put this one in first as having the legs makes it a bit harder to hold here. And finally, because you want these legs angled up, it's going to be like this. But look at that. Look at that. They just added like coloring here. Really nice. I think that's supposed to indicate like um, on the beetles, sometimes they're kind of like fuzzy or furry. Not really sure why they have that, but. Hmm. It's in here. And this one in here. Um, For those who are ordering this online, just be aware that currently in Japan here, um, it is quite humid now. It's starting to get a lot hotter. 
so uh, the warping might be a bit more extreme than normal. So there we have it. Look at that. And then we'll have the legs come out like this. Ooh, this is a big boy. Oh, really love how that looks. That's a nice black. That's nice. It's definitely a heavy boy like that. And then we got the bags. Um, just to indicate right now, it just says uh, the pink bag. So this bag has the uh, right wings. So right wings and left wing. I'll keep it there. So as you can see, let me just move this down a bit. It is very nice. Um, pain apps are very nice. So this is, it's so clear that you can see this is white paint on like a nice dark brown or really dark brown or black shell. And then the wings here are, have a nice gr gradient design. And let's pop the wings. So usually you pop it so you give it a little bit of leeway. And the wings, hmm, the wings are much stiffer than before. How do the wings open? Oh, so clearly this time the wings just go up. They don't open like normally like the other beetles. They just kind of go upwards like so. So I recommend. Some... So it just opens up a little bit. So I think if you just wiggle it like so. So I'm not quite sure. OK, so it's hard to see. There is like a little joint here. So I'm guessing. So let's just show it off. So open like this. So even down here, it's painted nicely with some nice molding detail. And does it? Yeah. So these are each individual parts as always. However, because of how big it is, they there is not much movement available. And they don't recommend or uh, when you put the wings in, they don't open fully. They kind of just pop up like this. The Goliath beetle. But yeah, down here they have some paint apps and they can want nice white and the fuzz and the face detailing. Um, I guess you can't really see much of it, but there is some nice, lots of nice detailing over here. So lots and lots of cool stuff. Uh, really nice. And let's just get him with the wings. So pop this off. Uh, where did I put my scissors? Over here. Cut this one. And cut this one. I wonder if it comes with uh, the parts needed. So here are the wings. This time it's a very um, kind of like a smoky brown like wing. So this one is definitely a new mold. Sorry, Buster, let me see this. So as you can see, uh, usually before it had a bit more like veiny detail. This one's just like a clear brown. So pop it in like this. Very nice. Same with this one. So this time it does not come with the extra pieces um, needed for popping in uh, if you want it like display up. But that makes sense as it does not come with it. So it has the wings like this. It angles up. Just push it in like that. And this guy is definitely big. Wow, he's like a butterfly big. Really, really, really big. So look at that. Um, I mean, it's size comparisons. Uh, usually I have one. Hold on, let me get some. Here is a Digimon card. Uh, this is just a normal, I think it was 8x8x6x6 eight by eight by six by six centimeters. Um, this is just a traditional like playing card, Uno, Magic the Gathering Pokemon. So as you can see with it, it's almost as big as the card, which is rare without the legs. Um, with the wise, it's like this. It's about like two cards wide with the wings. And then just gonna, I recommend uh, turning while pulling it straight out to avoid damaging this things. Um, let's just move his legs down a bit. Like when you put him down, he covers the entire card. So like height wise, like with him eyes like this, compare him with other beetles. He does look a bit. Oh, uh, okay. He, I mean, hmm, I haven't seen a while, but definitely it's about the glass. It does look bigger. Um, yeah, this one is definitely heftier in weight. 
but not by much, not as much as I thought it would. So it looks like that. And if you have him maybe next to the five horn, like definitely that's much wider, although flatter, but still really nice. And then if you combine like lengthwise, he's not going to beat one of these ones in terms of length. But now that with the articulated legs, it's quite nice like that. So yeah, um, while I do not, I just grabbed one off the case. I do not, I actually don't have the part. So if you wanted to have them flying, uh, I can't remember like this one. I don't think is correct one. I am missing the part here. So if you had the display stand, you could display it properly. Um, let me see if I actually have the parts. Hold on. Right, so let's just grab another one. So hopefully this one fits better. Oh yeah, much better kind of. So uh, it was a bit loose, but so here, if you got one of the old stands or from the new one, you should just be able to plop this in like so. And it is a heavy boy, definitely. Hmm. Probably recommend doing it this way. Uh, this stand isn't the correct one, I say, so. So if it holds it a bit better, yeah, so let me just move this up. So definitely um, with the display stand, it does work. A bit heavy, but yeah, with the wings and everything. So unfortunately, this one does not come with it. However, I could see why um, the pieces might be a bit big fitting it in. But yeah, so there you have it, Busters. There is the Goliath Beetle from the Kabuto Mushi or the, I guess, Rhino Beetle set. Uh, part three um this one is really nice um very different from all the other ones highly recommend this one um for those who are interested uh this it's a throwback to i guess the origin uh not the original i guess the set never had it it was the kuwagata the um stag beetles that had the articulated legs so this is a first if i recall for the um this kind of rhino beetles but this goliath beetle is really nice really hefty like the marks it really distinguishes um, itself from like say all the previous uh releases where they all, were all horn based you know oops sorry busters about that but if you put it in like there it is definitely differentiates itself in quite a nice way almost like starship troopers like the firebug almost um but yeah really recommend it um in this lineup the, uh there are some really good ones so if uh you haven't started and you always wanted to get into collecting these beetles i do recommend this set as it comes with some really good ones um sorry buster let me just get this focused like it comes with the traditional rhino type ones here as well as kind of like a horned one and then you got some a uh, nice Tri uh, triple horns and this really unique one so i this set is a good uh, one for starting off however if you can't get it um the set two is also quite nice so it really depends but this one is a nice set um this goliath one um like i said nice heft and everything the pros are overwhelming um the cons for this one i guess um i don't have any really it's just really good it's just maybe a tad big um you know, it uh, would be nice if they continue giving the uh, display stands. However, you know, that's a small nitpick as I think most people uh, I've seen on YouTube or uh, here in Japan, like on Twitter, um, they like displaying just putting them on logs like real beetles. So having them displayed um, flying might not be uh, what most people are doing, which might be uh, one of the reasons why they didn't do it. But yeah, I guess the other nitpick might have been like the wings are look a little bit uh, lower quality compared to before. Um, but maybe the wings are just like, they just look like this, you know, so, but that's about it. I highly, de definitely recommend this guy, but yeah, Busters, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, if you had any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment section below. And I will be sure to get back to you on that. As always, Buster Kun here, going beyond the moon.